with the MDR and, uh, and Sensteck, the product, could this treat depression and anxiety and addiction problems? Could that come into the same category? Well, the, the short answer would be yes, but that would require almost like looking at it in a different, in a slightly different way. If we take uh, the, the issue of drug addiction, um, drug addiction at the moment is a, a criminalized activity. But if we look at it from a slightly different perspective, what we know from the research is the fact that 80% of drug users who use intravenous uh, sort of narcotics have trauma histories. So there's a very strong correlation between, between those two things. If we look at depression, we know that depression is, a, is, is biological, it's psychological and it's social. But often in depression, you know, um, there are often trauma issues which play a significant part in that. So the, answer, the short answer to your question would be yes, but I think from an EMDR perspective, we will be looking at the nature of people's experiences and we will be focusing on what we would call distressing memories. A memory that for that client, when they think about it or they activate that memory, that generates what we call a presently held level of disturbance. And if that memory generates that response, then there is a part that EMDR can play. Yeah. So this is why, you know, from a from a diagnosis perspective, you know, people might think, well, if I'm depressed, then I should take antidepressants. I think what EMDR does, it gets you to try and maybe look at that depression from a slightly different perspective. And actually if that experience creates distressed memories, then actually there's a part that EMDR can actually play in relation to that.